I am not the thinker of my thoughts. Most of the time, identified as the body and this thinking mind, we unwittingly take this, this, this voice that is seemingly in our head to be ours. Not just to be ours, to be that which we are. One of the most direct, simplest, transformative ways of exploring our true nature can be to create a distance and question every thought. To simply observe, not even do anything. To see that this thought that is coming up, I am that which is aware of these thoughts. This allows us, even at the level of being identified as a person in the Dwapar Yuga, I am duality, identified you know, with this body, matter, still it helps us become more conscious. I have the choice, I get to choose the thought. This is the play of the conscious creator at the personal level of the Dwapar Yuga play. And this is in response to one of the most, most common uh, questions received and the inherent doubt that, that generally we arrive at at the end of it is that what will change if I even if I change my thought? It might change a few things for me here and there. But what about everything else that just seems out of my control? A typical experience of the Dwapar Yuga mind that is identified with the body as its little self in one world, as if there is one reality we are sharing. Naturally says, but what about the situation of this world or this, this, this huge situation that I am living in, that, that just is not something that is going to change simply because I start thinking positively. This, even if conceptually we can start exploring, this is the typical experience of the Dwapar Yuga mind that is the masculine, dominant, energetic, vibrating state of mind that is living as if it's a separate person sharing one reality with everybody else. It dances only at the gross level and therefore does not see the unseen source that creates the world. To change our thought even at the personal level if we are playing at the personal level changes the vibration of that which we are. That even at the relative level that changes the vibration of what we are changes our world. Because the world is simply a reflection of what we are vibrating. To explore this. So this can be a direct, direct way to actually changing our world. Because we really do not change our world at all. The self and the world are one and the same. And when the self vibrates its own reality, that is the world it experiences. To explore this, sometimes the simplest shifts, simplest shifts can create profound altering experiences unbelievable we are more more than what this mind that we think we are imagines ourselves to be it really cannot be named and it is uniquely experienced by each of us we are all that is 
consciousness to play deny every thought that comes up to be as yours and choose consciously the chart the choice that you think that you want to be live see as yourself and the world to play much love